So I've had a few questions about the chapter 13 homework assignment, the analysis of variance. Uh, in particular, the last three questions, six, seven, and eight. Um, the narrated slides don't get into this very much. Um, so I thought I would look at number six, at least, and show you how to do it. Um, this is like section 13.4 for this one. And for the last two, seven and eight, it's section 13.8 five out of the textbook so you ought to be able to read those and then it goes through a bunch of manual calculations I think that's a little silly since you're doing an online class you should be using a computer and you should have Microsoft Excel so you ought to be able to do this in Excel and if you look at the textbook it does actually uh, also tell you in the appendix to chapter 13 how to do these types of problems in Excel so let's see the here's the textbook right here um, the randomized block design which is what we're looking at first right it tells you how to go through it's not going to be off the data analysis off the data tab uh, and then you put it in you make sure you do two-factor without replication so that's what we're gonna do so let's try to do it so here's the problem Consider the experimental results of the following randomized block design. So I know it's a randomized block design. That's nice. Make the calculations necessary to set up the analysis of variance table, the ANOVA table. So they give me five blocks, three different treatments, right? And then here's the ANOVA table down here I need to fill in. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to select this, see if it works. Control C to copy it. Go to a blank Microsoft Excel document and paste it. So let's make that bigger. All right. So that, that came over nicely for me. So next I need to go to the data tab and data analysis. If that's not shown then you need to manage your Excel add-ins. Google that. You should be able to figure out how to do it. So I want a, I know I'm doing a Nova, so all the Nova stuff is at the top. I'm doing a block design, that's the two-factor without replication. Click OK. The input range, do not pick that first thing that says treatment. I want this with the labels though. So I have labels in row 2 and column B. So I'm picking B2 through E7 in my example. I have labels. The alpha level, I'm assuming they used 0.05 in the problem. I didn't see it. And I'm going to stick it in the same worksheet. So I'm going to put it down here in row 10. Why not? And click OK. So now there are two parts. We get the summary. This is for each block, how many, how many different counts there were. The sum, their average for the particular block, the variance. And then down here is for each treatment level, right, we have five and then the sum, the average, and the variance. And then here's the ANOVA table that we're looking for. And if, let me try this. Oh, it doesn't like that for some reason. I don't know why it didn't like that for my Excel. I really didn't like that. All right, now I've got my Excel and the homework problem right next to each other. So treatments, if I go back to the Excel and look, treatments are my columns. So the, the Excel output is a little bit different. So I'm going to do that so that we can see it. Rows then becomes my blocks. Notice that the Excel output differs from what is over here, so I just got to make sure I get the right stuff. So treatments, sum of squares, I thought this guy, right? And let's check uh, to two decimals. I don't know if a, if a tolerance will let me do that. Let's check my work and see what happens. Yeah, you like that. All right, so I'm, I'm doing the right thing. So degrees of freedom, two, mean square is just is simply 22.533 divided by the degrees of freedom. The F test statistic 
Um, so we'll come back to that in just a second. Let's do blocks. Blocks. Uh, so that was the top part. We had four for degrees of freedom and 79.4 here. Error. That one is labeled properly in Excel. 22.8 for the SSE. Degrees of freedom. Eight. And 2.85 for the MSE. And in total, better be adding up those two columns. All right. And let's check it and see what, where we get. Yay. So now it's asking for the F. Right. Um, so that should be the So again, we have to be a little bit careful here because of the way that Excel spits it out. We know by definition the F uh, value there is going to be the MSTR divided by the MSE. The MSTR is 11.2666 and the MSE is 2.85. Right. So in order to make sure we get the right one, we can do MSTR divided by MSE. 3.95 so it should be the one that's in the row with the treatments is what it should be asking for so let's attempt that and see if we're right and check my work and it loves to think yay that was right p-value over here are the p-values the, the p-value that I'm interested in should be next to it alright so 0.063 uh, so try that and check my work. Yay. Uh, so then what's my conclusion? Well, if I'm using a 0.05, I do not reject. Right? Yay, I got it right. All right, so do not reject the assumption that the treatment means are equal. All right, so that looks at one homework problem from chapter 13 uh, again for ch for number seven and eight if you just flip to the next page in the book on 596 it tells you how to do that one as well um, so you use ANOVA two-factor with replication for number seven and number eight hopefully that helps